Hello and welcome to my channel Econ Academy. In this tutorial, I will show you how to estimate and inter interpret 2SLS model using step by step method in Strata. So, do like the video and subscribe to my channel. So, first of all, my variables are wage, average education, age, highest education, and state of residence. In which the wage variable is dependent variable while all these are independent variable the average education age highest education and state of residence and I have uh, taken this average education as an endogenous variable for this videos for this video purpose you can find your endogenous variable using Hausman test and I have taken compulsory attendance as an instrumental variable so and my model is so my model is a wage as a dependent variable and every education age high, uh, highest education and state of resident as an independent variables so first of all we will run our first step model in which we will keep keep this average education which was an endogenous variable as a dependent variable and um, we will run uh, a regression using the um, instrument variable we will keep the instrument variable and all our independent variables as a uh, as an independent variable so now i will show you how to do this estimation in strata so first of all we will write reg and then uh, space and then the name of the um, endogenous variable which we, we are keeping as an independent uh, which we are keeping as a dependent variable in this case so average education was an endogenous variable so that's why we keep it as a, um, a dependent variable and then we will write the name of the instrument and then the all the, the name of the of all the independent variables so regress average education which was endogenous and then the instrument and all the independent variables and we will press enter so now we will pred uh, we will write predict and the name of the new variable which we can write anything let's suppose write it as e hat and comma and space and then we will write xb and we'll uh, press enter so this was the first stage and now we will run the second stage in the second stage we will uh, um, use the original we will use the original model reg the wage was the dependent variable in our original model and instead of this average education uh, let me show it in this data uh, PowerPoint instead of this average education we will use that uh, instead of this average education we will use the um, predicted value this e hat we will use this one so regress wage e hat and then all our independent variables and the highest education age and state of residence and we will press enter now this is our final model of 2SLS this is the result of our 2SLS model so now we will interpret this model so first of all we will look at the probability of F stats uh, as the probability of F stat is uh, 0% which is less than 5% so we will say that the model is a significant the overall model is significant and then we can see that the R square and adjusted R square is 21% which means that the um, these independent variables show 21% variation in this dependent variable so the R square shows the goodness of fit how much these independent variables show uh, how much these independent variables show a variation in this dependent variable 
so in this case it uh, it is showing 21 percent and now we will discuss the probability values the t stats and the coefficients if the probability value of any variable is less than 0 0.05 then we say that this variable is significant so in this case we can see that all variable have less than 5% probability so we can say that all variables are significant from the street from the t stats we can also confirm the uh, result of the probabilities if the t stats is greater than or equal to 2 in absolute form then we will say that the then we say that that the this variable is significant so in this case you can see that the um, t stats of all the variables are greater than 2 in absolute form so we can say that all variables are significant so and then we will come to the coefficients remember this is the predicted variable not the actual average education variable so and there is no negative sign here so it means that this uh, average education variable have a positive impact on wage rate and um, from the coefficient we can say that uh, if if average education increased by 1% then the wage rate will be increased by 0.59% uh, and same is the case with the highest education if if the highest education increased by 1% then the average uh, then the wage rate will be increased by 0.07% and same um, as others so this is from today tutorial you can watch my other um, tutorials on uh, of stata and eviews on my channel so do like the video and subscribe to my channel and uh, in the next video i will show you how to uh, run 2sls model using iv regress model uh, using iv regress command so do like the video and subscribe to my channel bye for now